someone recently asked me if we were considering staying in Japan full time, given everything that's going on in America, specifically as it relates to the safety of children. I responded with a very quick no, but it did get me to thinking as to like why it is such a quick no for me and why living here in Japan full time would not really be an option for me and my family. My husband plays professional basketball overseas, so we currently split our time between Japan and our home in Atlanta, Georgia. And to be honest, every time basketball season comes to an end, we are trying to get on the first flight out. We are always itching and ready and excited to get back to America in spite of, you know, whatever is going on or has been going on in the country while we are away. We get very homesick and are always really ready to go home. Japan is arguably one of the best countries in the world to raise a family specifically because it is very, very safe. And honestly, our life here is pretty nice. We don't have many complaints about living here and really, really enjoy our time here. So you would think that, you know, maybe we might possibly be open to staying here, you know, in the off season after basketball season ends, or even staying here after my husband retires. But for us, it's just not something that we would even consider, to be honest. The first reason why moving to Japan full time just wouldn't be for us is honestly just because of homesickness. We are here as of now for like nine months out of the year, and we just get very, very, very homesick. We miss simple things like Target and Chick-fil-A. We miss our literal home. We own a home, you know, in America and we miss, you know, our backyard. We miss the the space, you know, that we have at home. We miss our neighborhood and our neighbors and our church and our community there. And then also our family is at home and family is just really important to both of us. And unless our entire family were to move to Japan and they were to get Target and Chick-fil-A as well. <laughs> I just don't think that it would be something that we would be open to. Uh, obviously the big thing there and the serious thing there will be family. It's really important to us that our children are raised, you know, around their grandparents and aunties and uncles and cousins and even like family friends and just like the community and the village that we have in America will be something that we personally would not be willing to leave full time. You know, we always miss them so bad when we're away. And I can't imagine not, you know, going home and not being able to see them in the off season. Another reason that we wouldn't consider living here in Japan full time is because of the lack of diversity here. Japan um, is a country that just does not have a lot of diversity and I don't see that changing anytime soon. It's a beautiful country and the people here are amazing but you do not see a lot of people that look like us obviously in Japan and it's really really important to us that our children be raised around not only other black people but also just other people that are other things besides just one ethnicity or race and so you know, America is obviously a melting pot, as they say, and it's not the only country that's a melting pot, but we would not want to raise our children here long term because we just want them to see, you know, other people and, and other things. I know that the, the, I guess, racial purity, for lack of a better term, that the Japanese have created is something that a lot of people really commend them for and I'm not knocking it. However, for us, you know, as black people, we want our kids to see other black people and be around other black people and be around people of all different races. And so living here, you know, just would not allow us to do that for them. And so we wouldn't want to live here um, full time and have them not be around people that look like them. The third reason that we would not consider living in Japan full time is simply because we want our kids to have a normal upbringing. And stability is something that we both feel like is really important for kids. And I recognize that if we were to live here full time, it would be stable and that we wouldn't be, you know, going back and forth every few months, but we would still be traveling a lot because we would still be going home to see family and things like that. And 
I just think that for our family, you know, we want our kids once they reach a certain age to be kind of stable. And we completely appreciate the opportunity that we have living abroad to be able to introduce them to different cultures and allow them to see the world. It's amazing. And I don't take it for granted. However, we also value life at home and life in America. And, you know, I think that no matter the state of things in the United States, no matter how we feel about things that are going on back home, I've shared about, you know, anxiety that I sometimes get about returning back home, just given for the most part, like the safety aspect, it's still our home. And I think that we just want our kids to, you know, grow up there, simply put, I think that, you know, in my husband's line of work, like we will probably split our time for another five or so years. And by the time my daughter is eight or nine, and my son is what I guess will be like, five or six, we'll be living back in America full time at that point. And I hope that we're still able to travel because I think that, you know, travel is important and seeing the world is important. And our kids obviously have already, you know, been immersed in different cultures, and we want to continue that for them. But we also want them to have stability and have a traditional upbringing, you know, living home full time.